Hello, this is Miriam Laufer from the Montgomery College Germantown Writing, Reading, and Language Center, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the results section of your lab report. The title will be results, but I've put graphs and tables here because if you have graphs and tables, this is where your professor will ask you to include it. If you're not supposed to include graphs and tables here, you either may not need them or you'll include them in appendices at the end of your report. In the results section, you'll summarize the observed results of your experiment, i.e. what happened to y, the dependent variable, as a result of x, the independent variable. This is not the time to comment on why you did or didn't get the results you predicted. Save that for the discussion conclusion section. Here's an example of a table from an AP Bio lab report. As you'll notice, it is labeled Table 1 and includes a description of the table's information. A table in your lab report should look similar to this one. Here's an example of the results section from the sample lab report from Hamilton College. As you can see, it has the section heading results and it's written in paragraph format in complete sentences. Your results summary section should look similar to this one. Now, if you do need to include results in a graph or table, make sure that you label each graph or table by number and also title each graph or table clearly. So here's an example of a figure in, on the previous slide, you saw that there was a table. If you have both a table and a graph, you should label them table one and figure one respectively. If you have additional tables or graphs, those would be table two, figure two, and so on. Just like the table, the figure is labeled with a specific description, and it's also labeled on the x-axis and the y-axis with the independent and dependent variable respectively.